Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me Rob Bidolf. There I am with Ringo the dog. I'm the one on the left. I always say that joke don't I? I'm so hilarious. I am a children's author and illustrator so I write stories. I draw the pictures to go with them. Maybe you've seen some of my books. Have you seen this one? It's called Odd Dog Out. All about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs. Maybe, just maybe, there might be another Odd Dog Out book coming relatively soon. Who knows? <gasps> Top secret that though, don't tell anyone. I told you. Have you seen this one? This one's called Sunk. It's another story about my character Penguin Blue, but this time him and his friends are playing at being pirates. That's a really fun one that. I had to draw lots of pirate ships, things like that. Really good fun. But we are here today, as per usual, to do a little drawing together. I'm just going to move my chair a bit closer actually. I was a bit far away. So there we go, my piece of paper. I've got my pen, my nice brush pen to do a drawing. Now, today I thought, because a new president of the United States was inaugurated this week, Joe Biden, I thought we would draw an animal that is associated with the United States of America. And what better animal than their national emblem? Do you know what that is? That's right, it's the bald eagle. So I thought today we would draw a nice picture of a bald eagle. Now bald eagles are very cool birds indeed i'm sure you've seen them they're that very when you think of an eagle you usually think of a bald eagle i think they're the ones with the sort of the white heads and the golden beards uh, beards <laughs> they haven't got beards beaks golden beaks not golden beards i cannot stress that enough white heads and golden beaks that's what you think of when you think of an eagle so it's the bald eagle that you think of they are absolutely magnificent looking creatures they're huge i think they've got like two meter wingspans and they are one of my favorite animals ever so i thought you know to celebrate the fact that we've got a new president in the united states that's what we draw today so grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil something to draw with this is how it works in case you haven't done one of these videos before what we do is lots of people think they can't draw or they're not very good at drawing i say that's rubbish everybody can draw you just need a little bit of help with the order so what we do here is i break the drawing down into little bite-sized pieces so i will draw a little shape here or a line there and um i will draw something you can pause the video and you draw what i draw start me up again i'll draw a bit more then you draw then i draw then you draw i draw you draw and at the end everything will be put together like a jigsaw puzzle and we'll have a lovely drawing of a bald eagle so are you ready to begin jolly good you've got your paper you've got your pen okay let's make a start shall we we are going to stop stop i'm not very good at talking today i'm sorry we're not going to stop we are going to start with a horizontal line at the top of our page so we're just going to come straight across like that about five centimeters something like that so a nice easy start then from the left hand end of our horizontal line we are going to start to curve down our page a bit just a shallow curve probably about that far okay i'm just going to make mine a little bit smoother there remember what i say about mistakes don't worry about mistakes just keep on drawing you can always correct them slightly like i did there's no such thing as going wrong really with a drawing because all art is subjective. There's no right or wrong answer. And in fact, it's those little mistakes that add to our drawings. They give the drawings character. So don't worry if you make a little mistake at all. Right, okay. So we have drawn a straight line and then we've drawn a little curvy line. The next thing to do is I want you to draw and let's think which way am I gonna go? Okay, from the end of our curve here, we're gonna turn around change direction and head back up this way to about there so maybe two or three centimeters long but the important thing is we need a nice sharp turn here okay then what I want you to do is from the top from that first line that we drew I want you to draw another straight line slightly at an angle that just comes down like that to about there so you can see it's not quite straight, it's slightly at an angle, like that. 
Okay, let's head back up to where we started, this point of our drawing. I want you to change direction here in a nice sharp point as well, but just a little, we're just gonna do a little diagonal line this time, like that. And then from the bottom of that, we're gonna draw a straight line. Again, nice sharp turning points there, corners. Then another one, a little diagonal there, like that. So it's sort of two little zigzags. And then I want you to draw another line coming down. So it's about level with that, that one there. Let's make that one a bit longer so that they are about the same length. That's going at a slight angle like that. So not straight. Both of these lines are sort of going like that a little bit. Then what I want you to do, we're gonna have another sharp corner. We're gonna come in a little bit there, like that. Exactly the same on this side. Lots of kind of pointy bits on this particular animal. Then I want you to come down again. This time we are gonna go pretty much straight down our page. We're gonna do it on both sides, centimeter or so. Then we're gonna turn in again, maybe a little bit further this time. Again, nice sharp corners. And then finally, we're gonna sort of join them up in a little V shape, like that. Okay. The next thing to do is we're gonna go back up to this part of our drawing and we're just gonna draw a line that comes across and joins up halfway down the other line there. And I think this is the point when our drawing starts to become recognizable. So you can hopefully see that this bit here is gonna be our bald eagle's beak. And this part is the famous white head of the bald eagle. Okay, I'm gonna change pens. So I'm gonna go from my thicker brush pen just to my thinner brush pen. But don't worry if you don't have thinner pens, it's absolutely fine, it's just me showing off a little bit. What I want you to do now is, see this line, this part of the beak here, if you imagine that went straight through the head, I want you to carry it on, but we're not gonna start from the edge, we're gonna start in the middle of the head with a sort of straight line, like that. But the line isn't perfectly horizontal, it's slightly angled up, like that. Then underneath that line, I want you to draw semicircle like that our semicircle doesn't go right to the end it sort of starts slightly inside each end and inside that semicircle I want you to draw another one that we are going to color in and look we've given our bald eagle an eye slightly frowning and looking very proud and masterful Okay, they have in their beaks, they have a little air hole here to help them breathe. You know how I, and so sort of like a nostril, I guess, in a beak. You know how I do nostrils, do you remember? I start with a little circle like that, and then I just do a little swirly bit coming out. Don't ask me why, that's, don't ask me why I do nostrils like that. I just do sometimes. These things don't need an explanation, do they? <laughs> okay, I'm going back to my thicker brush pen now. And what I want you to do is just above these corners here, I want you to draw a tiny little horizontal line coming out of each side. No more than half a centimeter or so, okay? And then coming down from those horizontal lines, we're gonna draw a vertical line. And we're gonna come down our page and we're gonna head right down towards the bottom of our page to about there. This one on the left hand side is going to be a little bit longer actually. So we're going to come down our page and we're going to come right down to probably about there. Okay, so quite a bit longer. And the reason that that's a little bit longer is because we are going to join these up, but we're going to join them up in a curve. So we're going to curve around and join them up in a nice sharp corner down here. And this is going to be our bald eagle's body because I've decided we're going to draw our eagle not in flying pose but in sort of standing pose so looking very regal a regal eagle regal eagle that's a good title for a book that's mine copyright Rob Midolf 2021 <laughs> the regal eagle okay 
Let's add some tail feathers now, shall we? We're gonna do our tail feathers coming out to this side. So what I want you to do is this curved line that we drew, I want you to continue that straight across our page. About that long, something like that, Maybe about there. Then at the end, we're gonna go straight up, centimeter or so, and we're gonna join it back up to the body. So like a rectangle, slightly wider at one end, my one. Then behind that, we're gonna draw a vertical line here and we're gonna join up with the body, but we're gonna sort of do it at a slight angle like that. Because I want these tail feathers, we're gonna do four I think, but they're sort of gonna be fanning out, which means they're narrower at one end than the other. We do one more, just tucked in there, each time getting a bit shorter, but sort of fanning out like that. And they're gonna be our eagle's tail feathers. So what I'm doing, I'm really stylizing this bird. It's not like a photographic portrait. You'll notice that with lots of my characters. I sort of stylize them, which means I take roughly the, the way that they look in real life and I simplify it to make the shapes much kind of simpler, but hopefully those shapes still retain the character of the animal, if you see what I mean. So, you know, a bald eagle's body isn't really kind of square like that at the top and perfectly round like that, but I've just sort of simplified it and made the shapes a bit simpler to, to make it a bit more kind of stylish and a bit more cartoony, I guess. I think it works pretty well. Okay, do you know what I'm gonna, no I'm not, I'm gonna keep this pen. Right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw our eagle's legs. So we are gonna draw kind of like a little sausage shape. It comes down there, like that. And we're gonna do the bottom of the sausage shape on this side. Just like that. And that's gonna be the top part of our eagle's legs. I'm going back to my thin pen because this is a bit fiddly. And then what I want you to do, coming out of the bottom of each of those sausage shapes, I want you to do two little vertical lines quite close to each other, like that. And then coming out of the bottom of those lines, we're gonna go along and down curve around and come back up. Then we're gonna go straight down, curve around, come back up. And then we're gonna go out this side, down, curve around, come back up and join up. So it's sort of like a funny M shape at the bottom. And these are gonna be our eagle's feet. We do the same over here, we're out, down, round, along. Down, around, up. Out, down, around, join up two funny looking little bird's feet. Now sometimes you will have noticed on other animals I've drawn, I would just do that with a line and another line, but I wanna color these in, you see, so that's why I've made it so that it's kind of like an outline. And then underneath these, let's add some little claws, just little pointy claws, because they have these talons, don't they, eagles? So that helps them grab their prey, the little mice or whatever it is they fancy eating that day, poor little mice. <laughs> They're amazing hunters, eagles, do you know that? Not only they've got fantastic eyesight, apparently they can see straight forwards and to the sides at the same time, it's amazing. And they've also got this weird thing, it's like more, I was just reading about it, more than one eyelid. So they've got one eyelid that's transparent. So they sort of put their eyelid down, but they can still see through it, but it protects their eye. I guess that's if they need to dive into some water or something, I'm not really sure, but they are pretty amazing. And when they dive down after their prey, they go up to 100 miles an hour. That is pretty fast, isn't it? Pretty fast. They're amazing animals, actually. And another little fact, you know what? They live, they live to be really quite old. There was one I think that found that was 38 years old. A bald eagle, 38 years old. And what's really cute is they mate for life. So they, they find their husband or their wife or their partner and they stay with them for life. Oh, a bit like us, isn't that cute? So there we go, a few eagle facts for you. Right, so that's basically the outline of our eagle. So quite a nice simple one this week. So what I want you to do now is color yours in. Now remember what I said, the bald eagle is famous for having a white head. So this area here is white and they usually have like a yellow golden beak and sort of yellowy eyes too, and yellow um, feet and claws and things. Um, and then this part of their body is sort of black, black really. But you know what, this is Draw With Rob, isn't it? You can draw your eagle any color you like. The more colorful, the better, that's what I say. I am gonna disappear and go into super speed mode to color mine in, so I shall see you back here in about 30 seconds, okay? You ready?
three, two, one, let's go. So there we go, there is my finished colored in bald eagle. So I've gone for like a purpley shade here, which is, you know, the dark part of the body. I just thought that's kind of quite a nice color for this particular bird. Um, they're probably not actually purple, but it just sort of still suggests bald eagle to me at least. Um, and then I've gone for the white head and the white tail and the golden beak and eyes and feet. Um, but interestingly, you can see in my white, it's not white, I've used bits of pink, purple, a bit of blue and a bit of silver in there because actually rarely, rarely are colours, particularly on fur or feathers, things like that, rarely, even if they look white, they're rarely just white. There's lots of other little pale colours in there as well. So next time you look at, I don't know, if you've got a white cat or a white dog, have a look in their fur and you'll be able to see other little colours just making a little appearance if you really look closely. That's another important part of being an artist, to really look at things carefully and reflect what you see on your piece of paper. So there you go, a little tip for you there. Of course, I've added a little bit of shadow underneath. I'm gonna sign my drawing here. Rob, I'm gonna do my full name. Why not? Rob Bidolf, there we go. Don't forget to sign your drawing so everybody knows who's created this lovely work of art. So there, an eagle on the week that a new president was inaugurated, Joe Biden, in the United States. States. I thought it was, this was a good animal to draw, the national emblem of the United States. They're only found in North America, these particular species of eagle, the bald eagle. So I thought it was an appropriate one. So I really hope you've enjoyed drawing this bald eagle with me today. What you need to do, you need to get your grown up to take a picture of your eagle and post it on social media using the hashtag drawwithrob. That way I will get to see it. Um, and and then maybe, who knows, maybe your drawing will make the grid, the Draw With Rob grid at the end of the week. Who knows? Listen, I hope you've had fun drawing with me. I'm gonna be back very soon with another episode of Draw With Rob. Until then, take care of yourselves. Stay indoors, remember. We've all gotta be very careful, haven't we, at the moment. Um, take care of each other, be kind to each other, and I will see you again very soon. see me that soon did you <laughs> i hope you really enjoyed that video that you've just watched i can't wait to see the drawings that you've done don't forget to share them using the draw with rob hashtag i just wanted to pop up here and remind you that the draw with rob activity book is out now if you would like to grab yourself a copy you can get it from wherever you get books from and it's full of really cool things for you to do coloring pages lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters that we've done on these videos here and there's a little frame for you to draw your pictures in, perforated edge so you can tear the picture out easily and stick it up on the wall. But there's loads of really cool things for you to do. As I said, coloring pages, um, little thing. I've started drawings off and you've got to finish them, that kind of thing. And then right at the end, if you go through the book and you really enjoy yourself, look, there's even your very own certificate to stick up on your wall to say that you are officially an ace artist. So there you go, that book is available now. I'll stick a link somewhere in the post or on the YouTube page for you if you are interested in buying it. In the meantime, this time I really am going. I'll see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care.